So I believe we've went through uh, phases. I remember all throughout my time, and I went to every level of uh, enlisted PME and, and then some. Uh, we went through phases where we've had doctrine and, and, and those types of topics in, in our PME programs, and then we take it out for other leadership, leadership challenges. Um, I, there was a time I was a PME instructor and we had doctrine stuff in, in the curriculum, but it wasn't testable. And if anybody was anything like me, if it wasn't testable, I probably wouldn't spend a lot of time, you know, thinking about it if I didn't need it to graduate. <clears throat> so, again, I, I think if we could um, find the right level of understanding that airmen need to, to have about doctrine and put it uh, in our education systems, whether it's professional military education, in our tech training and other advanced training from a functional standpoint. And But I also believe it's important that we make it easy to understand, we make it uh, easily digestible, uh, short, five to seven minute videos. You know, most of our airmen today, uh, they do most of their learning. Hell, I do most of my learning. I was, I was flying down here last night at midnight uh, watching uh, YouTube clips on uh, how to improve my golf swing, right? So uh, if we could take advantage of the technology that's available to us and the way that airmen, airmen learn. Uh, so getting the content right is, is one thing, but uh, having the right platforms that airmen are are going to be attracted to that would that they would spend time with I think is even more important um, so so PME again is just a, a small part of it uh, because we enlisted airmen only get a PME experience every six to seven years uh, between ALS NCO Academy senior NCO Academy and, and beyond so that's there's lots of time in there for other opportunities to, to teach but but like I said um, you know, they need to be uh, short and sweet and easily, easy, easily digestible for our, our airmen to be able to, to take advantage of.